do, do, do. Oh, good grief. So if you can hear me, you're okay. If you can't, tough. Hmm? Saying what I type. That was that. Yeah. I can. And I am. Is there anybody is there anybody listening who can hear me? If there's anybody there who actually can hear what I'm saying, um, can you let me know and then I know that it, the problem's at Spiro's end, not at my end. I could do if, if somebody can't get it working properly. Um, I'm just going to crack on. Wow, Phil, I'm impressed. You're normally the one that has a problem. Yeah, although you can play it the other way around, I don't recommend that you do, for reasons that I explained in the session on Levensol. believe you can get something working with Explorer, Spiro, that you can't get working with Chrome. That's almost impossible.
So this is only <coughs> lemon sol in competitive sequences only applies in ostensibly natural bidding sequences that are still at the two level. In other words, a bid of two no trumps is still available and where two no trumps doesn't have a predefined artificial meaning or even a predefined natural meaning that takes precedence over, over Levensol. So if you would normally use two no trumps just to show sort of, you know, 11 to 12 balanced um, as an invitation to three no trumps, then Levensol will apply in a competitive sequence. If you've got some predefined meaning for two no trumps that isn't just showing a sort of invitational balanced hand, um, then generally speaking you can't use Levensol in competition in, in that particular sequence. So in the two sequences I've got shown there, the first one was one spade, two spades, then an intervening double. Um, we would play two no trumps uh, as Romex, asking to make a short suit trial bid uh, as an invitation in spades. Um, so there, Levin Sol wouldn't apply because two no trumps already has a specific artificial meaning. So, so Romex would take precedence, if you like, over Levensol there. <coughs> Similarly, in the second one, uh, OCP would play one diamond, two no trumps, showing 16 plus balanced, and it's a forcing inquiry. So, if the bidding starts one club and then an overcall of one heart, Two no trumps is still a 16 plus balanced inquiry. Um, so it wouldn't be Levensol. So the idea of using Levensol in competition simply extends its use um, and you we do need to change a few things um, because normally eleven sol is used when one of us is open one no trump and they've overcalled something at the two level and we want to differentiate between forcing and competitive and possibly invitational bids um, when we've opened with a suit and maybe partners responded and we may have had a whole load of different bids and suddenly or at some point ops interfere um, and it, the Levensol bid doesn't have to be immediately after the interference. Um, there are slightly different considerations because um, we want to potentially differentiate between hands that can and can't show some degree of support for, for partners suit um, which isn't an issue when partners open one no trump so we'll, we'll hopefully explain those as we go on
So in this sequence here, South's open one spade, West over calls two clubs, and North bids two hearts. East passes, so we're back to South. So we're in a, a, totally, a totally natural competitive sequence, and it, we're talking about our bidding, not Ops's bidding. Ops's bidding might be wholly artificial, for all we know. Um, So here, over North's two heart bid, we're in a competitive sequence. We're at the two level. Two no trumps is available as a as a natural bid if we're not using Levensol, and so Levensol can apply. So now, this is what happens. So two spades here from south from opener is simply repeating their, their spade suit. It's not. It's just competitive. It's not showing any extra values. But if south bids a fast three spades, um, then this would be um, certainly strongly invitational if you're using precision. But if you're using standard American or two over one then you could play it as forcing um, with a sort of maximum one level opener. Um, in precision it wouldn't be considered game forcing because the opening is limited by definition. So if South bids two no trumps, this just tells North to bid three clubs and now South can make an invitational bid in spades or an invitational bid in partners' hearts. And similarly, um, a fast three hearts over two hearts. So one, one spade, two clubs, two hearts, three hearts. You can assign a different meaning to that than to one spade, two clubs, two hearts, two no trumps, three clubs, three hearts, i.e. the slow three heart bid. And I'm not necessarily, you know, OCP, um, the system that I play and teach, um, we assign a particular way of doing things to, to these kinds of sequences. Um, and you don't necessarily have to follow that. The idea to get hold of is that, is that a fast three hearts and a fast three spades mean something different than a slow three hearts and a slow three spades, which go via the two no trump three club relay sequence. Okay, so just to explain that, here they bid clubs and both the suit that opener opened and the suit that responder bid are both higher ranking than ops suit. That means that um, we, we have a slow bid of two spades, sorry not a slow bid, a competitive bit of two spades available um, over the two heart bid. And that means that we, we can make an invitational bid with a slow three spades and a strongly invitational bid with a fast three spades if you're playing position. But in a different sequence, that wouldn't necessarily apply. So if we don't have 
a competitive bid available in one of our suits at the two level. Now the slow bid in our suit at the three level is just competitive. And the fast bid is more encouraging or potentially forcing. So in that sequence there, opener has opened one spade, uh, partners bid two diamonds, and now we've had a two heart overcall. So two spades is still available as a competitive bid. But if we want to bid diamonds, we've got to bid them at the three level because the heart suit is higher ranking than our diamonds. So now a slow three diamonds from opener going via two no trumps, three clubs, and then three diamonds. That would be just competitive, showing a lower range hand. So they're okay to play in diamonds, but then they're not encouraging. It's not particularly invitational. Whereas a fast three diamonds over the two heart overcall would be much more encouraging. And just the same as in the previous sequence, a slow three spades is invitational and a fast three spades is either strongly invitational if you're playing precision or forcing if you're playing standard American, Akol, two over one, whatever. You're all very quiet tonight. We all gone to sleep. So just just go back to the sequence we originally showed where it we open one spade, our left hand opponent overcalled two clubs, and partner bids two hearts. What you have to realize is that even over the two club overcall, we're in a 11 soul situation. So, partner's two heart bid is similarly just competitive. They could have bid a slow three hearts. They could have been a slow three hearts um, if they wanted to make an invitation in hearts. Um, so the two heart bid is definitely limited, which slightly changes um, the nuances for uh, for our actions because we have to realize that partner is, is already limited their hand. They're just wanting to compete at that stage. They could have taken a different action if they wanted to create a forcing sequence. So all these, all these things you have to put into the mix. And it does take a while before you really get comfortable um, with thinking in terms of how things are if you have Levensol available in competitive sequences. Thanks for that, Roger. I thought it was a bit quiet. That's probably why, uh, why it is.
So this time it's gone one diamond from us, one heart over call, one spade from partner, two hearts from our right-hand opponent. So if over two hearts we bid a fast three diamonds, this is strong and encouraging. Um, and, and it implies that we've got at least a, a reasonable tolerance for spades. Um, whereas if we, if we bid a slow three diamonds, it's less encouraging. Um, it's probably showing that we've got long diamonds, but we're not, not particularly interested in spades. And... Uh, we don't really want to hear partner um, repeating their spades. So, again, the fast bid is more encouraging, the slow bid is less encouraging, and that, that theme carries on pretty much throughout uh, all these examples of Levensol. So spades was partner's suit here. We open one diamond. Partner bid one spade. So if we just bid two spades over two hearts, um, it's just competitive. Um, reasonably decent spade support because um, if you're playing support doubles, we do have a support double available to show three card spade support. Um, not all of you will play support doubles and we'll, we'll come to them later in the series in about three or four weeks when we look at uh, non-penalty doubles but uh, so certainly with OCP if you're playing support doubles um, two spades would be just competitive but showing four card spade support and a double would show um, three card spade support but the double isn't necessarily limited in terms of um, uh, in terms of our range. So a slow bit of three spades would be a genuine invitation, and we would tend to play a fast bit of three spades as preemptive rather than forcing. Um, mainly because we'd probably bid three hearts i.e. Q bidding their, their suits if we wanted to create a forcing sequence. Um, but if we're playing if we're playing precision, then uh, the idea of opener forcing um, wouldn't come around because they've limited their hand originally. So if you're playing two over one, then you could play three spades as forcing rather than preemptive. Um, but precision plays these sorts of things slightly differently. So, again, we've had a sequence where we've opened one diamond, they've overcalled one heart, partners bid one spade, our right-hand opponent has supported um, hearts. So we're at the two level. It's a natural sequence. Um, if we weren't playing 11 soul, two no trumps would just be showing some kind of balanced hand. Uh, so now if we bid a fast three no trumps, again, if you cast your mind back to 11 soul over one no trump, um, it's showing a strong hand, presumably with, with long-running diamonds, but when denying a stop in hearts. But a slow bit of three-no trumps uh, is also showing a strong hand, obviously, but now promises heart values, decent heart values as well. Um, so the implication is that probably partner is short in hearts. But the slow three-no trump says, don't worry about the hearts, I've got them covered. 
um, that I want to play in three no trumps. Whereas the fast three no trumps here is only wanted to play in three no trumps, obviously, if partner has the hearts covered. And if they don't, then they have to take it out to four diamonds or four spades or um, something else in any case. Yeah, so OCP, the system that I play and teach, um, we do th these things slightly different um, because Qubits have, when we've opened and they've overcalled, then uh, we tend to use slow and fast Qubits of opsuit. Um, uh, to be gamma if we've opened the major or <coughs> um, showing game forcing raises in partner suit. Um, so we, we play it slightly differently, but there's no reason why you have to. And certainly if you're not playing asking bids, then um, there's no need to, to tie it up with that. So you could use slow and fast cues for basically whatever you want, but you could just use them in the same way that Levens all over one no trump uses them if you want, um, particularly if there's an unbid major floating around. So we, we tend to um, yeah, OCP, uh, if I open one spade, left-hand opponent bid two hearts. If partner bids three hearts now, it's asking, it's an asking bid in spades. Um, but if, if in a different sequence, um, uh, especially if it's a bit later in the sequence and we've had other bids first, then the asking bids um, go by the by. So now if, if we've had a, a slightly more lengthy sequence, um, but we're still at a Levin Sol situation at the two level, um, then you can use slow and fast cues of their suit as being stay manic, especially if there's an unbid major floating around. Um, there aren't many sequences, to be honest, with uh, OCP where this would apply. But if you're playing two over one or standard American, um, then there will be some uh, where you can just use the stay manic just like you would over one no trump and an overcall. Let's find an example hand for you. We'll assume that uh, East West, for example, are not playing precision. Because in, certainly in OCP, East would be opening this hand with one no trump, but uh, suppose that's not happening.
so here we've got a, a natural sequence. We're at the two level. And the two heart bit has been passed round to, to North, who passed over the double and passed initially, but feels that they want to protect. So now if they bid two no trumps, this is just forcing a three club bid from partner. So you can see here that the two no trump three club relay sequence allows North to bid a competitive three diamonds. Um, in practice they're a passed hand and they passed over the double. So probably anything they bid would be viewed as competitive only by, by South. Um, but it's definitely saying you know, I'm prepared to compete to the three level, but I don't want to go any higher. That's the point. And in practice, it's east-west hand, so they probably would compete to three hearts, and that's fine. But at least north-south have been able to, to show their hand... Um, and push, push east-west up by one level. I can't believe how quiet you all are tonight. Well, it depends, Spirit. I mean, like I said, this isn't necessarily for people playing precision. Um, but, uh, so, I mean, if South was playing, if North South were playing precision, then you may not, you may not find North Um, I wouldn't play it as forcing, I would play it as totally preemptive. But just going back to Spiro's thing, um, if North-South were playing precision, then you might not find North coming in with two no trumps, three clubs, three diamonds. Um, but if North-South were playing standard American, then you might, because it's much more likely that the diamond... Um, bid, the one diamond bid is actually a suit. Um, anyway, I'm, I mean, I'm just showing you the mechanism here. Um, and it's the mechanism that's, that's important. It's down to your own judgment on each hand as to whether you actually use these techniques, these methods or not. And obviously, if the one diamond might not be a diamond suit, that makes it much less likely that North is going to come in with his balanced honourless six, six count.
<laughs> okay. Preemptive is just what it says, Ellie. You're trying preemptive is trying to make life awkward for ops. Um, whereas competitive is more like a limit bid in the sense of saying I can go this far but no further whereas a preemptive bid is possibly not expecting to make but you're prepared to do it and risk it in order to deny ops some bidding space and um, make life more awkward for them it's a difference more of intent than anything else, okay? So if you... If you've got nice shape and really good Trump support but no points you might make a preemptive bid just to just to try and make life awkward for ops and potentially not expecting to make the contract although with your shape and your good Trump support you'd have a good chance but there's a difference of intent whereas a hand that's just competing may have reasonable trump support and a bit more in the way of high card points, but not necessarily the shape. And now you're, you are expecting to make the contract. Um, you're prepared to compete to that level, but you're not in, it's not invitational in the sense that you're inviting partner to go further, potentially. You're saying, I can go this far, but no further. Whereas... A preemptive bid, you say, I don't really care whether we can actually go this far or not. I, I can afford to go this far because I've got shape and I've got um, Trump support. But, you know, we might be in over our heads here, but it's worth it to try and make life difficult for our opponents. Just going back to, uh, I'll just try and find you an example here. Just bear with me a minute. Uh, I don't think I've got one. So I was trying to find an example of... Um, just just going back to one thing I said, I mentioned earlier. <coughs> um, supposing I open, or partner opens one spade. And our right-hand opponent bids two diamonds, for the sake of example. So now if we bid two hearts, it's just competitive, um, and that's fine. Again, it depends really um, what system you're using. Uh, I wouldn't play it as forcing in, in the system that I play and teach. And it certainly wouldn't be invitational. Um, so, I mean, personally, I would play one spade, two hearts, three spades as, as preemptive. So, two spades would be competitive, three spades would be preemptive. A slow three spades, okay, so if it goes one spade, two hearts, Two no trumps, Lebensol, three clubs, relay, 
three spades, that is invitational. No, that's invitational. Okay. Um, and so probably if you wanted to create a forcing sequence, it would go one spade, two hearts, three hearts. And now when you come back to spades, it's clear that you've got a game forcing raise in spades. <coughs> okay. But again, it depends what system you're using. Um, I mean, you know, the, um, if you're using OCP, there's a difference with all these because Opener's limited and we have asking bids, entries for asking bid sequences all over the place, which people playing two over one or standard American won't be using. Um, so they can use those bids in a different way than we would use them. So there's no hard and fast rule here. What I'm trying to, to get you to see is that you can create these two different kinds of sequences, slow sequences and fast sequences, by, by taking two no trumps away as a natural bid. And that you can create all these different nuanced sequences depending on um, whether you're fast, whether you're slow, and what other options are available to you in a given sequence, okay? So going back to what I was saying before, um, partner opens one spade, our right-hand opponent bids two diamonds. There's a difference. Oh, no, suppose they bid two hearts. Now, a fast three diamonds by us would be encouraging and implying a degree of spade support. I mean, we might actually have primary support for spades. But now three diamonds is encouraging and Im implying at least a good tolerance for spades, as well as showing the diamonds. Whereas a slow three diamonds, so if it goes one spade, two hearts on our right, two no trumps from us, three clubs, four three lay from partner, three diamonds from us. This is, this is now saying, so this is, this is now showing that I don't have support for spades and I'm limited in my um, expectations of, of how far we can go and it's not forcing a slow three diamonds here. Um, uh, Michael, I'll come back to your question in a minute. Um, so, the fast bit of a new suit implies, if you like, a degree of happiness with how the bidding's gone so far and a, a degree of tolerance or support for partner's suit. Whereas a slow bit of a new suit at the next level, at the three level, tends to imply that you don't have tolerance for their suit. In other words, it's more of a drop dead bid. Is anybody not quite following what I'm saying there? Right, back to Michael's question. One heart, two clubs, two diamonds, two spades. Oh, certainly. Yes, absolutely. Uh, yes, I mean, that's a, a slightly... Um, Yes, that wouldn't be, be treated, Michael, as, um, as just being competitive because it is a reverse. Um, but over that reverse, obviously, Levensol would apply, A, because it's a competitive sequence, but also because it's an opener's reverse. So two no trumps over two spades would be Levensol. And so two no trumps, three clubs, three hearts is just saying I've got 
no particular interest in going further, but I prefer hearts to spades. Um, and so on. But yes, uh, there... Um, although we've had the two club overcall, um, the two spade bid would be treated as a full upper range reverse and not just as competitive. Um, bearing in mind, you see, that the two diamond bid is limited um, in the sense that over the two club overcall, we're in a 11 sol situation because we're in a competitive sequence at the two level. So two diamonds doesn't necessarily have to be showing gazillions of points here. Um, because there's three diamonds is available um, and a slow three diamonds, you know, a fast three diamonds and a slow three diamonds are available uh, for, for showing a, a forcing or a competitive hand. So two diamonds is, we would play as just competitive. But again, all of these sequences, you have to work out, given your own bidding style and the system that you play, the underlying system that you play, um, you have to work out your own rules for whether bids are forcing or invitational or competitive or preemptive. Um, because your mileage will differ. If you're not playing OCP, uh, you're starting from a different standpoint. Um, you know, if you're playing OCP, the one heart opener is 11 to 15. Whereas if you're playing 2 over 1, the one heart, no, heart opener could be anything up to about 20 high card points. So it's a whole different ball game if you're not playing precision. Any questions, anybody? Yeah, go on, John. I think it does. Um, it is an awkward one, that, John, because um, I, I would tend to suggest that, that it's a little bit like one club openers rebidding in no trumps. Uh, when we've had some kind of a um, an interference and partners say passed uh, over the interference and we now come in as a one club opener with a no trump bid uh, we don't tend to play two no trumps as Levensol in those situations because we have a predefined meaning for it um, to show a specific range of, of strong balanced hands so I think I would I would tend to suggest that especially where we've doubled and then bid no trumps that that would take precedence over Lebensol where the doubler is concerned but where the doubler's partner is concerned I, I don't um, does that answer your question Okay.
So if a 2 no trump bid is not available, i.e. Right, somebody's already bid 2 no trumps, then 11 soldiers cannot apply. And you have to fall back on other considerations, other methods. Um, So a bit like Levin Sol over takeout doubles at the one level. Um, you can do it. Jason and I tried it and eventually discarded it. Mainly because losing two no trumps wasn't a big burden, but losing one no trump was. And we decided we'd rather have one no trump available as a natural bid because it's a good resting place. Whereas two no trumps isn't, in our opinion, anyway. Um, so, you may be scratching your heads at the moment and thinking, you know, what on earth has he been going on about here? Um, but have a look through the notes on the website and, and reread what I've said tonight um, and, and examine the practice hands that we're going to try in a few minutes. Uh, it, will, it might take you several months to get to really get to grips with, trans, with Levensol in competition, but it really will repay the time and effort you put in. If you ask people like John Loot and others here who've, who've battled their way into using lemon sol in competition, uh, it really does repay the effort that you put into it. Um, you will have some disasters uh, as you and your partner learn it because even now there are people who've been playing Levin competition for some time who still occasionally forget <laughs> that a particular bid is Levensol or think it's Levensol when it isn't because it's required for something else. Um, so uh, uh, do persist with it though because it will, it really will add another dimension to your competitive bidding. Well, it's, it's particularly powerful. Uh, it's powerful anywhere. I, I mean, OCP, the system I play and teach, uh, we use Levinson in all sorts of different places. Um, <coughs> you know, we, we even have sometimes where doubles, sorry, where passes um, are Levinson, forcing partner to double. Um, and we use that to move out of an asking bid sequence if ops interfere preemptively over that. Um, but it's still the same concept. Um, and it, it really does make a difference. And like I said, what can kill you, Ellie? I don't think anybody ever died from using them themselves. Um, but it will take your competitive bidding to another level. Okay, any questions before we uh, before we move on to some practice hands? But like I said, it. it it takes uh, a fair amount of effort and application before you really get your head round it. Um, and to some extent, like I said, if you're using OCP, it's fine because um, it depends where um, Spiro, we use transfer Levensol 
over interference over one no trump. We use transfer 11 sol over takeout doubles of their weak twos. But pretty much any other time it's normal 11 sol because uh, transfer 11 sol works well in some situations but not in others. Okay, certainly all the applications I've mentioned tonight of competitive sequences at the two level we're talking about normal Levensol, not transfer Levensol. Okay, can I please have four victims? It might be an idea, if we've got enough, for people who have Yes, if, if they open a week two and partner doubles, now we play transfer 11 sol. If partner opens one no trump and they interfere at the two level, we're playing transfer 11 sol. But any other time, we're playing normal 11 sol. So yeah, four victims please. Um, might be best if we, to start with, we could have four people who are at least reasonably comfortable with Levin in competition just to to demonstrate a bit um, Jean amazing cool thank you John thank you Spiro oh and one more Come on, somebody else. Okay, John, no problem. Um, Barry, are you up for this? No? Come on, one more, please. It's no fun for me to sit and play these because I've set the hands in the first place. And I can see all, all 52 cards. Okay. Let's see what you guys make of this one. Okay. Um, claim 12 tricks, please, Esther. I believe you did. Okay. Two things here. Firstly, 
if you're playing OCP and East West are playing OCP, then three clubs here was Gamma in Hearts. So the three heart bid is wrong in the sense that um, uh, Esther should have been going four steps rather than two steps. But even if you if you weren't playing OCP then we would normally we would normally suggest that you play three clubs as a specific bid. So three clubs would be a game forcing raise in hearts but lacking first or second round control of their clubs. Whereas a slow qubit of clubs, i.e. two no trumps, three clubs, four clubs, would be a game forcing raise in hand in hearts, but promising a first round control of their club suit. And it would be more expensive because it's clubs. Um, yeah, you can do. Well, I'll just send it again. I'm not saying you should be in six hearts here. Um, So three clubs is fine if you're playing OCP. Um, that's what I would be bidding. So this is Gamma in hearts. Well, he ought to. Yes, well done, Barry. This vulnerability, Spiro, I would say you have to be insane. Well done, Esther.
so don't forget double and pass here are bids as well over four spades so For how many controls, Barry? Oh my god. Um, Esther, you're wrong. First and third is a six step response. Mm -hmm. It doesn't make any difference here, but it might. Okay, can we play this hand, please? Play it out, Esther. Let's see your techniques. Thanks for spoiling it, Phil. I was wanting Esther to find that. Not somebody who can see all 52 cards. All right. We don't play that many hands, but very nicely done. Well played. Nice to done, Esther. Okay, so if you Thanks, John. Thank you, mate. Anybody else want to sit south, please? Don't all rush at once. Come on, guys. Time is money.
Okay. So if you weren't playing OCP here, you could have a sequence of one heart, two clubs from south, two no trumps, eleven sol, three clubs, four strelay, four clubs, game forcing, slam invitational and in hearts with first or second round control of clubs. And then you might have a few cubids and Roman key cards and then six hearts. Um, but with OCP we use the asking bid route which uh, works just as nicely. Anybody got any questions or comments here? Okay. Yeah, go on, Jane. Go for it. Um, well, I mean, I explained how the sequence would go. It would probably go... Okay, I think we'd go one heart from Esther. Two clubs from South. Two clubs from South, Maisie. May, are you with us? Uh, right, two no trumps from West. Alerted as eleven sol. Um, a pass from North. Well, Spiro, yes it is. <laughs> no. Okay, pass from south. No, 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 come on. May, you're, you're vulnerable against not. Um... Okay, now four clubs from West is slam invitational, certainly game forcing, in hearts, so it agrees hearts, and it shows first or second round control of clubs, probably first round control of clubs. Okay, so now East can Cupid Diamonds, West can Cupid, well, no, West might be the rolling four hearts. So rolling four hearts from West, because we've not missed out any Cupids here. So now East can bid their show their ace of spades with four spades. So now East will come in with Roman key card. We'll assume you're playing not three one four. So now five clubs from east. Oh, you're playing one four not three. Well, okay, whatever you're playing, it's fine. And now probably six hearts. Which is a bit pushy. Okay, 
okay. I don't. I'm not a fan of Roman Keycard Blackwood Spiro, so you can play whatever you like. Anyway, that's that's pretty much how it would go, Gene. There may be slight differences, but um, if I was playing two over one, that's probably how I would aim to bid these two hands. Okay, any more questions before we move on? Okay. Go on, Spiro, get in there. Yes. Actually, I should have specified that you weren't to play precision on this one. Because it slightly spoils it if you do. Well, it's because we're in an asking bid sequence, so... No, it's okay, Spiro. It's all right. I was thinking more of east-west than uh, north-south. But you're right. If you if you weren't playing OCP as north-south, you'd have opened as north hand. So if we're an asking bid sequence, it's it's diff totally different considerations. We're not thinking in terms of Levensol and. Um, Qubits. We're talking about D1 and D. Yeah, I think. Yeah, just start. Just assume that you're playing two over one here, guys. Um, both north and south. So I think we might get a two diamonds, a weak two diamonds here from north. In fact, I'll turn off the... Uh, eek! Two no trumps, Esther. Really? It certainly isn't. <laughs> yeah, but two no trump shows a balanced hand. tends to imply you might have a diamond stop as well. So, transfer Levensol here. Nope. 
No, this is the double is just to take out double. No problem. Okay, so a fast, a fast three no trumps here. So showing game values, but no diamond stopper. Okay, um, claim 10 tricks, please. Okay, can anybody see a problem with the sequence that we've had here? Anybody got any observations or comments about the sequence? I have, but I want to give you first shot. Okay. Um, I would be worried... Um, no, the three no trumps is okay. I, I mean, it depends on your agreements about how strong East is going to be for their double. Um, <coughs> the problem is actually the four spade bid. Because most people would play a, a double um, well, I'm not sure about the double, uh, but it's to do, it's the double and then the four spade bid, because that would tend to show, mm, I don't think they have, but that's beside the point. Um, there's a danger of four spades being taken as a real rock crushing hand that was too strong to bid. Um, two spades in the first place. You see, I with the east hand, I would have bid two spades over two diamonds um, and let the auction do it from there because east has only got a 16 count after all. It's not, and it's a nice 16 count, don't get me wrong, but it is only a 16 count. In practice, because the three no trump bid denies having a diamond stop. East has to bid something because they don't have a diamond stop either, so they're clearly not going to let it rest in three no trumps. So in that sense, it's okay. But there's, there's a danger. Well, hopefully not, because we're in a transfer 11 soul situation. So three clubs would be a transfer to diamonds. In other words, it would be the fast, the fast, three clubs instead of three no trumps would be, no, no, we're playing transfer 11 sol here. This is, this is a takeout double of their week two. So we're playing transfer 11 sol. So three clubs will be a transfer to diamonds, in other words, the fast queue of North's diamond suit. <coughs> so it would be showing at least one, possibly two four-card majors, and no diamond stop, which is not what West has. So you wouldn't bid, two, you know, you might bid... Um, 
two no trumps. Well, I would be bidding two spades as east and now west can bid a slow three spades which is invitational in spades and then four spades and we rest there so I don't think actually that west would think east has a you know a rock crushing 20 plus but it's possible that they might but I don't think East really has the hand for a takeout double. Much better to bid two spades and when the bidding comes back round to them they can show the hearts if need be. And now there's a definite knowledge for West that they can't support clubs. Um, and in practice, once East bids two spades that's going to solve the problem on this hand for east-west. But I'm not sure doubling is the right bid on the east hand. You're the wrong shape. Any more questions, comments? Okay. Maisie, do you want to sit back down here, by the way? Somebody sit back down south. That's all right. These things happen. Plenty of suntan now. Suntan lotion. Okay, let's have a lead. Yes, two no trumps was Leb here. I think just, just claim 
about 11 tricks here. Okay. No, I think I think Trino Trumps is fine. Um, the only query I would really have with this sequence was the double. It doesn't matter from your point of view, Spiro. What else do you think it's going to be? But your You're playing north south, not east west. But certainly OCP would play two no trumps here as eleven salt. Um, no the No No, Spira, that's the whole point, is that any time in a competitive sequence that you might normally think that two no trumps was that is when it can be eleven salt. That's the whole point of this. You you have to scrap the two no trumps that just show sort of ten to eleven balanced or whatever. Those those ones go out the window and instead they're eleven salt. That's the whole point. Okay, so I would worry about the double here by West over three diamonds. The point is West has absolutely no idea what the 2 no trump bid is based on. For all West knows, um, East might have eight card clubs and a Yabra, practically. And they just want to get out to three clubs. So West can't make any assumptions about East having a certain number of points or having space support or having anything. What I'm saying is that once East bids two no trumps, when South bids three diamonds, West has to pass. Um, because, <coughs> like I said, it might just have been that East felt that they could compete in clubs and they don't want to go any further. But the double is now forcing them to go further. So, generally speaking, when partner bids two no trumps, eleven sol, if the next person bids, the next player bids, then the hand that would normally be bidding three clubs just passes. And that acts as the relay, the three club bid. And now the two no trump bidder has has a completely free hand to do whatever they, they think they need to do, i.e. pass, bid, and whatever. <coughs> do you understand what I'm saying, Barry? <coughs> Maybe you can't hear me. Okay, that's fine. Anybody else got any comments about the hand? Okay. Uh, no, it doesn't show anything. A pass here by, by West Maisie over three diamonds doesn't say anything. It, it's just automatic. It's, that, is, that is the relay. <coughs> if, if, if South hadn't bid three diamonds, they would have bid three clubs, as instructed. But once South bids three diamonds, West just has to pass. And that is the relay. Okay. So I think East West are getting the best of these hands at the moment.
Yeah, standard American or two over one, whichever you prefer. But I think leave OCP out of these because there's various people here who don't play it and uh, we don't really want to get into one club openers because it clouds the issue. Okay, at this vulnerability, I agree. That's fine. Um, would you like to lead me? Yes. It would, but you're not strong enough. With a two count, you're not going to try and compete. Especially when you haven't got a good enough fit for clubs. But yes, it would be competitive. Okay, so uh, no point mucking about with Levensol or anything here. The West Hand is worth a four spade preemptive bid. Um, and uh, it's best just to go straight there. Well, we can try again. All right, north south play precision. This time, same hand. I don't think it's going to be any different. Does that? Sorry. Yeah. So there's no real difference in the sequence here. Um, just starts off one level higher. Any more questions? Sorry, there's a, I don't understand what you're asking here. Who do you want to bid two no trumps? Lizette, who do you want to bid two no trumps here? Try and get a couple more in here.
stick to two over one. Very nice, well done guys. Good sequence. So here, um, just claim 10 tricks, May. Here we had double a one heart, two hearts just a preemptive raise, and then three hearts from north was stay manic because we're in a 11 soul situation. So stay manic, cubit of, fast cubit of, of their hearts, showing game values and no heart stop and four card spades. Um, East persisted with the hearts and now North has no problem just bidding four spades. Very well done. Anybody got any comments or questions? Okay. Well done.
Okay. Disclaim. Well done. Okay, so a vaguely similar sequence this time. Um, North strong enough that they can bid their clubs first, their longer clubs, and then reverse into heart. So two clubs from them. Um, probably nearly fell off his chair when East bid his heart. And now a Stamanic three hearts from South, denying a heart stop, showing four card spades. And the inevitable three no trumps from North. Anybody got any comments? Yes, obviously. Okay, last one. Just hang on a minute. through I'll just go to bed. I'll be stopped in two minutes. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay, well done guys. Um, I might as well just claim this one. There's nothing much in the play here. Okay. Um, so here we had a one spade opening, two hearts over call. Now a fast three clubs from north was exactly what it should be here. So this is showing showing the club suit, but also implying at least a good tolerance, if not support, for spades. So the three, the fast three clubs is really encouraging. Um, whereas obviously two no trumps, three clubs pass would be just a rescue almost. But two no trumps, three clubs, four clubs would be um, denying that degree of, of spade tolerance or support. So three clubs was nice. Three diamonds. Um, uh, just a further description in May's hand. Three hearts. Again, um, some sort of a game forcing cubid. Uh, it's not really defined in OCP in that particular uh, sequence. 
So our four diamonds definitely becomes a cubit. Um, denying a club control. Four spades. Oh, if you want to play it as a directional asking bid, that's fine. But don't forget, your your th your your three club bid. The thing is, you know, as North, given that South has opened one spade, that actually you want to play it in spades. You've got no, you don't want to play this in three no trumps. Not when you've got a singleton diamond. So. It shouldn't be a directional asking bid. In a different sequence, it could be. But here, I don't think it is. Your three clubs is showing clubs and implying tolerance or support for spades. Um, three diamonds. Three diamonds is, is showing a diamond suit. <coughs> And the th three hearts, if you want it as a directional asking bid, um, it really sort of means that the three club bid wasn't really what you thought it was or what you intended it to be. Um, <laughs> three clubs is almost saying, you know, if you've got good spades, let's play this in spades. It, it is that kind of a bid. It's not saying I've got clubs and I want to play in three no trumps. <laughs> if you wanted that, you could put a fast three no trumps over two hearts. And that's saying um, I want some help in hearts. But anyway, um, four spades is the right place to play. But I think... Um, North should realise that as soon as South opens one spade, spades is where you're going to play the hand. So the issue of whether partner has a heart stop is immaterial. Okay. All right, guys, listen, it's uh, just gone midnight and uh, it's been a long day for me.